Biddy Pops, the new smallest collectible by Funko. And today we're gonna be cracking open one of every single set to see if I can finish off my collection. And as you can see, there are a lot of different ones, so let's just get started. Now the three that we're gonna be beginning with are the characters that don't actually have a larger set. There is no mystery to them and you get the same characters every single time, but they are different Biddy Pops, so of course we're gonna be cracking them open. And I guess we'll start with the one that I just showed you, the New York Comic Con exclusives that haven't even released yet. I was able to get them a little bit early from Funko, so it is really exciting that I'm able to show you guys these. Alrighty, there is the set, and we've got Funko's mascot, Freddy, dressed up as four different Halloween characters. Werewolf, Spirit, Pumpkin, and Mummy. This is also the most limited set of Biddy Pops, with only a thousand of them out there. Super exciting. And now when it comes to these next two, they are actually the same figures on the inside, but I wanted to show you both of the boxes. They released both for Funko's Fun on the Run, where they actually drove a bus across America selling these boxes. And so the difference is this one here was the in-person box if you actually went to the bus, but then this one here was the at-home one if you bought it online. Which means this one is a little bit rarer, so let's crack open the bus. And if you guys want to take a look on the back, that's what we've got inside. Pretty neat, especially because this is the first time we've ever got some of these as actual pops. Alrighty, let's see what it's looking like in here. Oh, interesting. Oh, and you know what? I didn't even talk about it with the first set there, but all of them come with this little like acrylic case so you can put all four inside and display them a bit easier. Also, another pretty interesting thing with Biddy Pops is you can actually take them out of their boxes and they get even smaller. And so there we go, everybody, all four of the figures. And the ones we've got inside is a normal Freddy Funko as well as Proto the dog, the Freddy Funko big boy, and Freddy Funko in his like ice cream outfit. Also, I am just noticing now that every single one of the boxes has a 25th anniversary logo in the front. How neat. And so I guess maybe in the future, I'll be able to do four of them on top of each other of maybe different Freddy sets, but for now I only have the two. Because of course that's all they've created. Now the first mystery set that we're going to be jumping into is Marvel's Infinity Saga. And I guess before we actually crack it open, I might as well show you how the collection is doing so far. I am just missing two of the mystery ones. And the two mystery characters are Doctor Strange and Scarlet Witch. And so let's crack this open to find out exactly which character we're going to be getting. And I guess I don't need to take a look at the other three, I just need... <laughs> You can kind of see it on the top and the mystery one if you guys haven't seen them before come inside of these little black almost like plastic wraps And then you can take them off and then underneath is check that out Scarlet Witch Crazy enough one of the characters I needed so I only need one more to complete this entire set Now let's jump into Disney which is a really fun set and now just to let you know I have completed the set but because we're opening up one of every single Biddy Pop set We have to do it so let me be careful with this pop it down right there and find out at least which mystery one we're going to be getting. And I guess I showed you the whole set already. And if you guys don't know, there are different rarities with the mystery ones too. You could either get a one in three, which is the easiest one to get, or a one in six. And inside of here, we've got the Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto. And let's find out what that mystery one's going to be. And so I guess because I do have them all already, we're going for the one in sixes, which would be Steamboat Willie or Band Conductor. And we ended up getting, well, Conductor. Well, hold on here a second. Oh, this is Conductor. There's also Band and concert Mickey. That one's the one in six. This here though is a one in three. Now everybody, it looks like we're keeping it Disney and going with the Disney princesses this time. Now when it comes to this set here, I am actually missing one of them. That is the one in six Elsa. Fingers crossed we get her. And so here we go everybody. I'm hoping I can get her. Also with this one here, if you guys don't know, the figures we get inside are Ariel, Pocahontas, as well as Tiana, which I think is a pretty great spread of princesses. And let's find out. Oh, 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 I can see the crown on the top. Check this out. The princess set is complete. Wow. I gotta say it, everybody. Not too shabby. And let's put this one on to the collection. I mean, come on. That looks great. Already two of the characters that I need, which is definitely not too bad. But let's get into the next set here, which is going to be Nightmare Before Christmas. Again, very similar to the Disney princesses. I am missing one of the characters, which is the happy version of the mayor, which is again a one in six. It seems like that's how it usually is. I open up an entire set of them and then we're stuck with one one in six missing. 
But here's the thing, we have another box, so let's hope we can get it and then finish off this set as well. Oh, I'm seeing it already. It's not. Which is definitely too bad, but if you guys want to take a look, I'll show you guys it, at least out of the wrapping here. Yeah, we got that Oogie Boogie with bugs. Well, not what I was looking for, and also I can't put it in the collection, so we are still missing one here, but hey, it was fun to crack it open. Now let's jump into the next set here, which is going to be DC, and I think with this set, I know I'm missing one of them. But for some reason, I'm also noticing now that I'm miss- Let me just show you. I don't know what happened here, but for some reason, I'm also missing a Harley Quinn, which isn't like a mystery one. I guess I just misplaced her? I don't know, and I wish I could fix it today with this box here, but I ended up getting the 1966 ones and not that one with Harley Quinn inside. But at least for today, I could try to pull that one in six robot Batman. That would be nice. And so here we go, everybody. Let's find out if we got that one. I really am hoping for it. Okay, I will show everybody first, take the wrapping off, and I guess I'll see it for a split second before you guys do. <laughs> it's, <laughs> you can probably tell by that noise. It's not one that we're looking for. It is not that robot Batman. It actually turned out to be that 1966 Penguin. One that I obviously already have. Ooh, now everybody, we have Star Wars, which is again a set that I do have complete, but again, like Disney, we're gonna be opening it still. And now, if you guys would like to take a look at a complete collection, here it is. And I think my favorite one out of all of them is probably going to be, well, there's a couple, but I really like that Stormtrooper, the silver one, as well as R2-D2 and Greedo, they really look great. And so I guess the question is, which mystery figure am I gonna be getting? And again, because I have them all, we're just hoping for a one in six. Come on, one in six, come on, one in six. I don't actually know what the one and sixes are. Let me take a look here. I don't know yet, but we'll find out together. Ah, it's Hammerhead, and he is a one and three. But I guess it doesn't really matter because the set is already complete. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Now, one of my favorite sets they've done so far, it is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a half shout, let's just get into them. Oh, and I don't know what's going on here, guys, but it looks like I'm also missing Donatello like I was with Harley Quinn. Maybe at one point I dropped a few? I'll get them eventually. Oh, wait, never mind. Donatello is inside this box, so I guess we don't have to worry about them, but the exclusive one, or the one and six one that I'm missing, is going to be the 8-Bit Mikey as well as Casey Jones. And so I guess before we get into the mystery one, let me put Donatello on the shelf there. That's looking a lot nicer. And then with the mystery one here, we will find out together. I'm hoping it's one that I need because I am missing two of them. Uh -huh. <laughs> we got the 8-bit Mikey. Well, 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 not too shabby. And we could put him right there next to the other ones. Now we just need Casey. Then we're complete the entire set. Now, everybody, we have two more sets. One that I've actually been working on. Then the last set that we're going to be doing today. We're going to try to start and complete, but we'll get to that in a second. First, let's get into the Harry Potter ones where I actually am missing two of them. Taking a look on the back here, it would be Harry Potter with broomstick as well as Hedwig, and they are both the one in sixes. And again, like all of the other ones, here is the collection so far. Not too shabby, but again, I am missing those rare ones. Alrighty, I am excited about this. So we're looking for Hedwig or Harry, Hedwig or Harry, Hedwig or Harry. And because I am missing two of them, I feel like we have a pretty good shot of getting them. So let's just jump into this one here and I'll show you guys first. Come on, Hedwig or Harry, Hedwig or Harry. <laughs> We got that Harry with broomstick. Well, 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 Mr. Potter, another one for the collection. And check that out. We are now just missing that Hedwig. Okay, now, everyone, let's jump into that last set, which is the Blacklight DC figures exclusive to San Diego Comic-Con. It says here that every single one of them was 4,000 pieces. So I really am excited to crack into them. And there are some great characters inside. If you would like to take a look on the back, I believe it is the exact same ones as the original set. Just these ones here are a little bit crazier because they are those Blacklight like colors. And so I think we're actually going to be starting from the bottom and going up so it's easier when I'm putting them all on display. And the one that we've got here for right now is those 1966 characters. Alrighty, so we've got the display. Let's put that out. And then we've got the Batman as well as Batgirl and the Riddler. And now let's find out together which mystery figure I'm going to be getting. Ooh, I am excited. Okay, it's got the Batman look. Well, all of them are going to have Batman. You know what I'm talking about though. Oh, no! 
nice. This one here is the Batman robot. Could I have got this for the other set? Whatever, at least I got it for this one. And so there we go, everybody. The first four from this set looking pretty great so far. But now, everybody, we are getting into Batman the Animated Series. We're actually getting Batman, of course, as well as Scarecrow and Robin. And I guess at this point, we're really just hoping to not get that robot Batman. We really don't want to see him again. All right, we've got the three normal ones on there. Now let's get into that mystery figure. Come on, please no robot Batman. Please no robot Batman. Please no robot. Ah! It's the penguin! Okay, that's great. All right, so on to the collectible shelf you go, and then take a look at all eight of them. So far, no doubles, which you can definitely not complain about. And these ones here, we've got more animated series characters, but this here is Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, and the Joker. Okay, Joker, there you go. Now, the mystery character. This is where it gets a little nerve-wracking, because the ones I'm looking for are now Catwoman, as well as just Batman Beyond, I'm pretty sure. So let's hope it isn't either of those ones that I already have. Oh my gosh, it's Batman Beyond. Wait, really? Okay, so far this has been crazy. And also I'm kind of hoping that I really don't get any doubles because it's going to be hard to get more of these because they sold out at Comic-Con. Like they were only available at the convention. So if I don't get a perfect set here, I don't know where I'm going to get them. But anyways, now we have just some DC superhero ones mixed in with actually some more Batman the Animated Series. And here we have Joker as well as Batgirl and Batman. Alrighty, let's put that last row on and <laughs> Fingers crossed we get the last one I need. Which again, for anybody wondering, is that black light Catwoman? Oh, I'm hoping it's in here. <sighs> All right, everybody, here we go. Are we going to start and finish this collection today? I hope so. <laughs> we did. Well, everybody, there we go. That is the Catwoman. And check this out. It has been started and completed all in one video. Honestly, crazy how that worked out. But seriously exciting because I don't need to go find more of these guys. And so what a great way to end the video because we are now done with every single set of Bitty Pops. And I know that there are more coming soon with Five Nights at Freddy's as well as Toy Story. They just haven't released yet. But when they do officially release, I will 100% do a video on them. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this kind of like, I guess, Bitty Pop collection video. Well, technically collection and opening at the same time. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow.